Nigerian artist Bonner Boy pays tribute to lives lost during the NSAS protest and every form of injustice in Nigeria in a politically charged performance um, of a single from his fifth studio album, Monster You Made, um, with cold place Chris Martin. Bonner Boy was backed by a full band while Martin sang um, his parts remotely. Bonner Boy sang in front of footage from the NSAS protest while his um, band wore shirts that read Stop Police Brutality. As the song ended, Bonaboy once again called for an end to police brutality as he stood with his associates with um, their fist in the air. The performance was followed by a list of innocent Nigerians killed by SARS. And one Shout, more out time. To Bonaboy. Yeah. Shout out to Bonaboy. Shout out to Bonaboy. And one more time, can we have a moment of silence for everyone who's lost their life via police brutality? Hmm. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Big shout out to Bonner Boy. I love the fact that he's always putting us on the map with whenever he has the chance, whenever he has the opportunity. Now, Chris Martin is not somebody to to joke with. To joke with. Mm -hmm. It's Coldplay. Come on, the lead singer of Coldplay. He's a legend in his own right. You get me. And um, if somebody like Chris Martin is pushing against ten thousand police, we're already getting eyeballs from the international community. But like I said earlier, music is a powerful tool, and these people have large fan base. Now, a lot of people that didn't even know about what was going on in Nigeria, I can bet from this performance alone, they already know what is going on in Nigeria. So. Big shout out to Bonner Boy. That's why I said Bonner Boy. There's a thin line between love and hate when it comes to Bonner Boy. You mm -hmm. can't help but love the guy. Yeah. And sometimes you can't help but hate him. Yeah. But hey, he does his thing right. He comes correct. That's one thing you can I also take want to talk about the track monster you made i mean that definitely came from a very deep place from him we really are the thinking, monsters they made yeah um the results of the monsters they made um came to us a few days ago with the whole vandalism and um looting yeah, and idol. characters that of course and um, we cannot promote or agree to say or oh, even if you are hurt or even if mm. you feel like the government isn't doing enough you can't um take care of a child by cutting off the child's head, right? So, much as um, I like that he had this track before now. It shows that he's always been conscious anyway, which is why people really came hard on him when we were not seeing him actively involved in the NSAS protest. Mm. But however, we know that he has it's, it's, always, it's, been. it's always been in his mind, in his thoughts, and in his um, art as well. He's always used this platform to talk about our issues as a people. He hasn't, even though, yes, he tries to do the music and make it... Um, be, should I call it globally acceptable, Commercial commercially yeah. acceptable as well, to be able to win the Grammys and right. all, he doesn't forget where he's coming mm. from and that is what I will not take away and from. I, 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 I can boy. tell where that he gets that from because every black person should please remember that before you became anything else you were Africans mm -hmm. and that came from Mama Bona. So I think that's a, a lesson that has been instilled in, in him, him as a child. Now, Bernard Boy grew up in London, he grew up in the UK, and um, until he had his issues and he was back in Nigeria. Yes, so we know that this guy is somebody that could have just tilted towards the Western culture. But he still infuses a lot of Africanism in his music, mm. and that is something that is really... Really, but either ways, he still has a struggle Western culture and the black struggle as well. So, struggle is we a all struggle. have our struggles, <laughs> don't we? We all do. So, sometimes I just want us to just like just focus on the good side. Sometimes, yeah, yeah we all have our struggles, but but to what to what ratio, though? Mm. That's that's the big question. He's doing, he's doing a great job. He has never forgotten his roots. He's still putting it there. And like you pointed out, Monsters You Made came from a very, very deep place. And I also like the fact that you pointed out to the aftermath of the Lekki massacre, right? Mm -hmm. When a lot of people were killed. And in reaction, even though it was hijacked, was, uh, people are still saying that the real protesters are not the ones who looted properties. Mm. But you gave them a chance. Mm. You gave them a reason to use that as a reason to go out and make it their reason. Yeah. But they were not reasoning. Mm. You get me? So our leaders should really listen to monsters you made? Yeah, like I mean, they board. should reason. Okay. <laughs>